Today we're doing some apple picking. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are back in our element. We're in the Jeep on, uh, on the road, headed towards <laughs> a crazy adventure. Yeah, the road. <laughs> So today's crazy adventure is uh, we're actually gonna go uh, put down some cash and uh, order Chelsea a brand new car. Yeah, so. crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'll be really sad the day I get rid of my Jeep, but yeah, definitely the uh, smart and uh, right decision to do. Yeah, it's something that we've been talking about for a while. And the reason we're going on base is there's a company that's called Military Auto Sales and uh, or is it source? Source. Sales, source? It's source. I, I always know. call it sales, but I, I looked it up, it is source. <laughs> yeah, so the way that they uh, sell cars to military members is they sell them at MSRP. So you're not gonna have to haggle and you know try and work and you know get the best deals. Like you are getting the best deal. And the right. way that the world is right now with the chip shortages, we're realizing that cars are like uh, a hot way, commodity. Yeah, they're, they're selling way more expensive. So yeah. you can't really haggle. So before, like five years ago, Porter's, you know, adding his input. <laughs> his uh, like five years ago, I don't know if going through military auto source would have been like this, the best decision for us, just because we can haggle and maybe get like a lower price under MSRP. But like what Kyle was saying right now, it's just, that's probably the best decision that yeah. We're lucky that we have this option because a lot of people aren't able to get cars right now. Yeah, they're saying they go to dealerships and it's like a six month wait or uh, you just can't find the one you want. And dealers are ordering like the top of the line vehicles knowing that, you know, it's a seller's market. Like yeah. they're going to go. So uh, well, it kind of adds to the Jeep. We looked it up um, a few months ago just to see like what the Kelly Blue Book, how much the Jeep was worth. And it was like. I put in good condition. I think it's in like better condition than good, um, but I just wanted to be safe. And it was going for like twenty four thousand. And I looked it up, and now it's going from anywhere from twenty six to thirty thousand. So the used car, like we're gonna make more money taking the Jeep back to the states and selling it as soon as it gets shipped in, yep. and picking it well and picking our new car up in the states. <laughs> yeah. So that's the whole plan though, is we want to order it, but we're not going to actually drive it in the UK. It's going to be like delivered to the states and then uh, we'll drive it there. And the whole reason for this is we know uh, that we can't comfortably do two car seats, the dogs, any luggage, like the stroller and that kind of stuff. So it's time to get one with a third row. And uh, we're really excited with this uh, particular model that uh, Chelsea's picked out. Yeah. So. <laughs> Porter, every the, time we film, he he talks. He's like, I gotta be added to it. But <laughs> no, we'll uh, we'll get into more details later. We'll show you guys some pictures and uh, just kind of the layout because we don't physically have it here to uh, be able to do a video with it. Um, but yeah, so we're excited. We're gonna go knock this out, and then uh, looks like we got some apple picking on the schedule for later today. A few moments later. All right, so we are headed home. That was by far the easiest process I've ever done for buying a car. Yeah, it was great. That was awesome. The the guys there are, are really friendly, and uh, we had talked before, so that's part of it. Like we already designed like the car and interior, exterior, all that stuff. So everything was all set. We just physically had to hit the button and say, "All right, we're ready to order." Yeah. Um, Surprise! It said they said it would be ready in February, which I was like nervous that it wouldn't be ready until we got there. Yeah. So um, we're having it ordered, so it will be ready in April, even though we get there in May, but just to like have like a two week buffer. Yeah, he so said just in case there's any delays. And so now we'll be able to get to Virginia, kind of get settled, figure out the house situation. And then uh, the plan would be taking the Jeep straight from the vehicle processing center right to the dealership to sell. Like we don't even really want to drive it around. No. And uh, I'll still have my truck too. So uh, we'll have like plenty of support for vehicles, but it's just good peace of mind knowing that with all the craziness in the world, we've got a car that will work with two kids and the dogs and um, Chelsea's gonna look really good in it too. She's excited, so. But yeah, I mean, it was just literally going through the website, picking everything out, and then uh, I keep joking with her. She doesn't have that, like she'll get a picture obviously when we get there, but uh, we'll have to like Photoshop something here and uh, throw it up for you guys that <laughs> we'll post. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's just neat. And then uh, like the guy was saying too, whenever you buy a new car, you start seeing it all over the place. And there's two other ones on base right now that uh, families have. 
and we did start seeing the there's a blue version um it's like the exact version we want uh it's just blue yeah blue color but uh we're seeing it, we're like looking at it and we're like man we gotta go park next to it next time uh we see it in the lot or something and yeah. check it out but uh, i'm so excited now it's just a long wait where uh, she's got to wait several months to yeah. actually but get i'm gonna it. enjoy my time with the jeep yeah i'm gonna be really i love this car i really <laughs> do it's not like i'm getting a new car to just you know yeah, i hate practical. my car like this is just not practical for us so check back in um uh 10 years when youtube is still a thing who knows it's a dinosaur in this video is super old but we will be buying another jeep when we don't have kids in car seats yeah yeah and it would be a good one to teach them how to drive on too but um right now it just makes more sense to have this other one so why not trade this one in and go for something different but it's kind of sad too thinking about the channel like we've done i think it's been like almost three years now or just past three years and yeah. all of our videos have been from this jeep going places and uh, doing things so I don't know, just a big chapter in our life that, you know, we've got to move on to uh, the next biggest thing, but we'll see. So uh, weather today is, it's Easy. okay. It's yeah, kind of humid, but it's not like raining or it shouldn't rain later. So I think we're still going to get home, um, grab some lunch and then hit the road for the orchard and just walk around there for a little bit. And then I'm looking forward to the whole weekend, our house smelling like apple crisp and apple pie and whatever else Chelsea comes up with. She's gonna make some cool recipes, but uh, we'll definitely uh, shoot some video over there and uh, get some shots of Porter uh, trying to pick some apples. Porter doing Porter things. Yep, awesome. <laughs>
That was awesome. That was yeah. fun. Definitely feeling like fall when you're going apple picking, but... It doesn't feel like fall. Yeah, it's still hot though. <sighs> it's humid today. So we got the two different types. This is the Brawley one. No, Bramley. Bramley. I already forgot the name. This is the Cox. This is the one that's like better eating, they said. Mm -hmm. Like just raw versus uh, baking. And then they also had some ciders and some juice. Chelsea's got. So the cider, we got still instead of sparkling and then apple juice. It looks mm, really good. Yum. It's gonna go good with some apple crisp. Porter, you want this? What is that? <laughs> oh, you want some uh, windshield right wipe <laughs> cleaner. Hi. Why do you always find the chemicals? <laughs> mm. Yum. <laughs> What'd you learn from mom? Yummy! So we're done at the orchard. Mm -hmm. Got a ton of apples. Yep. Been making pies for days. But we're at the uh, Sandringham, is that how you say it? Yeah, the gardens and estate. Yeah, so we're gonna go check out, like they have a shop here and then really cool like playground, outdoor area. So we'll we probably buy grab- We tickets for anything else. Yeah, no, we're not gonna go in the estate today. We're just gonna go in, grab some food, some apple related products. Yeah. And then, uh, Take a break before driving back. It's nice out. I mean, sun's out. It's just cloudy today. Yeah. Porter's in a better mood right now, so that's good. Nice breeze. Yeah. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yummy? <laughs> oh man. So Porter's much more in his element now because he can eat ice cream. <laughs> you want another bite? <laughs> He's not sure. <laughs> but we walked around the shop and uh, Kyle picked out lots of goodies. Oh yeah. So and I saw they had apple juice cold so I can try it now before we get home but yeah it's we're happy we came here I definitely want to come back on a day where we can like walk around and you know like tour the estate and the gardens and stuff it's like more ice cream I love the face like a little brain freeze but he wants it no hands no hands Ooh. Yum. All right, so we are back in the house. As you can see, it was a pretty successful day at the orchard <laughs> and at the uh, estate. So we got plenty of the larger apples uh, to bake, and uh, we're gonna work on that this weekend. Uh, cider, some juice, and then uh, just some odds and ends. Uh, we found some beer, uh, Golden IPA um, from Sandringham. Uh, just some odds and ends and stuff, but it was really cool. It was a fun day out. Definitely getting in the fall season now. Um, feeling those vibes. You ready for uh, some apple pie? Yum. <laughs> that was awesome, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you in the next adventure. See you guys. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good night.